this is live as of right now. I didn't announce I was doing a live feed or anything like that today, but I did want to um, share the news with you. Um, difficult news um, that I've made the decision, uh, my wife and I, um, to uh, sell the building and to close the storefront, to close Curiosity Inc. as a retail destination. I've had six good years in the Edmonton area. We've had a beautiful um, customer base that comes through, lovely folks that have been coming from all over the place. Um, but I've decided that it's time for me to um, try and take some things off my plate, to try and um, make my life a little bit easier, to try and make things um, make more sense. Um, as you know, I, I'm really, really busy. All the time I'm busy, busy. So, you know, uh, I never have time for really much of, of anything, really. Uh, so buying and selling and, you know, the way gas prices are and stuff like that, it's all going to start really taking a hit out of what margins there are for, um, for the shop itself. So I do um, plan on... I will continue with social media. I'll continue likely buying things here and there and auctioning and doing stuff. We're gonna do more in the way of renovation videos, um, more in the way, I'll probably end up getting to more of the house uh, renos and stuff like that. This is not an April Fool's joke for uh, the person who keeps saying that. Uh, we had, honestly, um, I think with my dad passing, my dad was a collector as well. My dad passed away a few years ago, you know that. My father-in-law passed away last year. He was a very good friend of mine and also used to help me with the shop. Um, I've had some other losses recently in my family. And uh, frankly, I just, um, buying and selling this much stuff just feels more of a burden. Sorry, I'm just not, I'm not gonna answer the phone right now anyway. This is the joy of it being live that somebody tries calling when you're on, on the live feed. Um, I guess my heart just hasn't been in it as much lately. You know, um, I think having the loss in my family and having people close to me kind of disappear out of my life, out of my life, um, you start to realize that if something happened to me, this would be a huge uh, amount of work for Melissa and for the kids to try and clear out this shop and uh, to keep a store this full um, as we've had it, it, it would just be an awful lot of work that I don't want them to have to worry about. And maybe it's not being fatalistic, I guess, but you know, like um, my dad and my father-in-law both died in their 60s. My grandpa died when he was in his 40s, my grandma in her 30s. Like um, I have good health right now, but I wanna focus really on living. Um, I do wanna focus on being um, more available to my family, um, to do things that fill me with joy and with happiness. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm staying, I'm staying with YouTube. I'm staying with social media. I'm still going to keep buying and selling stuff just on a smaller scale. And, um, you know, somebody left a comment there saying another you YouTube who's abandoning his community. I'm not going, I'm not leaving social media. Um, in fact, for most of you at home, the content, um, probably won't change all that much at all. It's just for those of you that were planning on coming to the store, or for those of you in the Edmonton area that come to see me in the store, um, you know, that's why. Um, for those of you that are asking like, um, why don't you just uh, have somebody else run the shop? Not so easy. When, you're, when you have to have a really deep knowledge base to be able to buy and sell items. So um, hiring staff, to, to Cal who's saying that, just hire more staff, that doesn't help. Are they going to spend my money to buy things? What if I don't like what they bought? Or what if they don't buy the right things? So this isn't really the type, the way that I built the business with an antique store isn't something unless you are part of the family or the, you know unless you've done this your whole life, you can't just delegate that to somebody who's a part-time employee to buy and sell stuff. So it means that even when I'm not here, on the days that I'm not here, I'm still working. I'm still taking calls, asking if we take less for things, asking, you know, if I want to buy stuff. And honestly, it's been, uh, I'm less and I've been less and less interested in buying things because I'm kind of only interested in things that are really amazingly cool. Uh, and boxes full of old toasters and stuff that walk through the door or old frying pans and things that doesn't do anything for me. 
Um, and so when you start to feel like your um, passions are shifting a little bit um, or that you need a break, uh, Bill said you probably just need a vacation. Um, and I probably do need a vacation for sure. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to what this will bring. So um, what I have planned basically right now is that um, the new owners of the, uh, the building are taking possession May 31st. The ice cream parlor is still gonna open. Um, this is really last minute. Actually, um, we had thought about selling the building and some of you had saw that we had the building listed um, because I'm, I was feeling overwhelmed. And as much as you don't talk about mental health on a YouTube channel that often, I was very, very stressed out. Um, the store is doing fine, that's the thing. The store as a business is actually a successful business. I built a successful store that is maintaining itself and is sustainable. Um, but I, my involvement or what I wanted to do, I wanted to keep kind of um, moving in different directions. And um, so it was time for me to do something different. The reason why I'm not selling Curiosity Inc. as a store, because you can actually sell your business, is that I am going to carry on as Curiosity Inc. as a social media platform. And so I do need to stay as a registered business for that. So Curiosity Inc. will, will live on, but it'll live on more in uh, picking and selling stuff at auctions, which I mainly do anyhow. Um, so the, um, yeah, the transition is coming very quickly. Um, I, um, haven't figured out exactly what I'm gonna do with the rest of my life, you know? Um, well, I'll still figure that out, you know, like anybody, I feel like a, um, I feel like a high school kid who just graduated and you're not really sure what you're going to do from now on. Um, social media is, I do have plans for that, doing renovations, repairs, fixing old cars, going on adventures, that's all still gonna happen. Um, one thing that I'd like to do with the channel going forward is uh, try and visit other people's businesses and try and help them to succeed with what they're doing and to be successful and to highlight some of the cool things. So um, you'll probably notice that some of the content will shift as I still go out looking at collectibles, but it might be more for the occasional thing for me to buy, but also really just to give you a good idea about what's out there and to highlight some of the other businesses that, that have been out there. Um, the amount of work that I put myself through the last five or six years is probably a lifetime worth of work. Um, and there has been moments, as some of you who have been following the channel know that occasionally my back will go out. Um, I've not been able to spend a whole lot of time on, um, on myself, on my health. Uh, and I want to spend more time with my family. So I'm making all these decisions basically uh, to try and be there more for my wife and kids, uh, to try and basically, um, you know, move forward in a different direction. So um, there still will be content. There still will be um, uh, episodes and you'll still be able to follow along on the things that I'm up to. Uh, but the store itself will not be a place that you can come visit in person. Um, we will be... Uh, starting to liquidate the, the shop and uh, the contents of the store starting as early as this weekend. Basically our first auction sale is April 2nd. Um, the uh, next auctions will be in May. Uh, we have a really big one planned for the end of May where I've been keeping back a lot of really, really good stuff that I've not been putting through auctions over this period of time. Um, but I guess to recap for everybody who's joining right now, this is not an April Fool's Day joke. I'm um, <laughs> I'm uh, totally serious about everything right now. Um, I just want to reset. I want to um, rethink what I'm doing. I'm going to take you back. When I, when I first opened this business, um, my dream at that time was to have an antique store because I love finding things. But um, as, my, as parents pass away, and as you start to realize how short life really is, many of you know, if you've watched live feeds before, that um, they always say like, oh, I bet there's some stuff you'd never sell. And I say, no, it's just stuff. You can't take it with you. You can't take any of this stuff with you at all. Um, and so um, I guess my, my want or desire to go and buy uh, mass amounts of stuff to try and sell at the store isn't really, the passion isn't quite there as it was before. I still love antiques, I still love history, I still love um, repairing things. Actually, that's probably more where 
Um, more where my, my mind is going right now is um, renovations and restoration and exploration. So the channel will still be like 80% the same in the very few times that I'm actually at the store, um, it just won't be a live feed from the shop. So for you guys watching at home, probably not too much is gonna change. Um, for me, the hardest part is that I love being part of the community that I'm in. I love being part of the Westmount area in Edmonton. I love the fact that I was able to save this building, uh, to renovate it, to put a lot of heart into it. But at the end of the day, um, it was time for me to try and do something different. Um, also, yeah, I'll still be doing episodes. I'll still be doing live feeds. So those of you that are asking if I'll still carry on social media, that's not changing. Like I said, from your perspective at home, not much is gonna seem like it changes. It just means in my life, I'm hoping to have better work-life balance. I am a, I'm a self-admitted workaholic. Um, and so with whatever we sell at auction, whatever money we get, I'm going to probably look for maybe a historic home that needs major renovation, um, you know, probably another car project or something, not that I don't have enough right now, but I'm going to keep myself busy because I can't sit still, I can't stay still. Um, and for me, this is just, um, it just makes sense in my life right now. And uh, the ice cream parlor, parlor is going to still open, it's just gonna be a different type of store on this side. Um, there's a few things to consider in the antique business right now as well. Um, this is probably an excellent opportunity for me to uh, uh, try and move my assets along um, because it's just getting very expensive to find things to buy and sell stuff right now. Uh, so I'm shifting and transitioning. I've said it before, uh, you got to know when to hold them and you got to know when to fold them. And for me, um, it's time for me to, to really um, fine tune my life and streamline things. Um, so I will probably take the summer to really gauge what I'm going to do. And then I'll probably get into some really crazy, um, big series, some renovation series. Oh, Gail, thank you so much. Uh, Gail says, I support your decisions. You have the best, uh, judge. You are the best judge of your life. You've been pushing the limits for quite some time. It's time to focus on family. Uh, thank you so much for that. Um, and that's where I was at, I guess, is that I'm on the road an awful lot. As you can tell, I do these videos. I try very hard to be at home. Um, in the evenings for my family, but they're getting older. My son Steven is, um, you know, gonna be probably moving out in a couple years and I wanna make sure that I'm there for them as much as I can. So it wasn't really a, um, it wasn't really a knee jerk reaction. It's something I've been thinking of for the last little while. Honestly, after, when my dad passed away, um, it was the first sort of blow. When Dave passed away and then the, the shop got shut down for COVID, I just um, got into a bit of a funk that you know, about having this shop and my, my passion for being in this store. Um, so I, I just really want to try and, um, you know, find some sanity. <laughs> I don't know. It's so funny that um, you think of um, all these analogies on how to put it, but um, I'm terribly sad and terribly hopeful at the same time. Um, so the next, uh, there's an episode that's coming out tomorrow where I was actually on a pick. I shot that a few days ago. This all happened basically yesterday. So this is not something that's been, um, this is new news. This is, you guys are getting the news first right now. Um, and, uh, oh, thank you for the super chats that have come in as well. I did see those come through. Um, so I'm looking for things to be more balanced, uh, for there to be great opportunities for lots more fun and lots more adventures to come. So if you are interested in visiting the shop, I will be trying to stay open until probably around um, the first week of May or so. And um, then after that, basically, I will just be a uh, free agent. <laughs> basically, uh, just, um, you know, um, following, you know, it, it's really kind of a wonderful feeling to think about it that if I want to go um, visit somewhere during the day and go see somebody or to go work on something, I'll have a lot more freedom and freedom um, can equal other opportunities. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, I didn't want to, um, you know, wait until I completely lost all love and spirit for the store to, uh, to sell and to close down. I wanted to do it while the store still had a lot of its love and all, all of my heart still in it. And, um, and then convert it, uh, they'll, they'll convert it into what they want to do uh, down the road. So, um, Anyway, guys, you have it there. This is not a joke. This is not clickbait. This is not an April Fool's Day joke. This is Alex trying to reconfigure his life 
um, try and find time where I can go to the gym, try and find time where I can just be more balanced. Um, so for all of those of you who are, have been following the channel for a while, know that the, the YouTube channel is still gonna keep going. The adventures are still gonna happen. They're gonna shift a little bit, but the adventures will still be there. Um, so everything will still progress, but we will have some very exciting auctions happening in the next little while as I basically have to spend the next bit of time that I'm here to liquidate the entire store um, and to start selling these assets off. So stay tuned. Um, there's more to come um, and um, who knows what adventures will await. We'll see you guys all very soon and as always, bye for now.